find the second order Taylor approximation of the square root of 95 using an appropriate center. So we want to take the square root of 95 and approximate it by using a second order Taylor polynomial and plugging in 95 into that. Now remember that Taylor polynomials approximate functions, not specific values. So we need a function to approximate first. And it's reasonable to approximate the square root of x by a second order Taylor polynomial. So this would be f of some center plus 1 over 1 factorial times f prime of a center times x minus the center plus 1 over 2 factorial times f double prime of the center times x minus the center squared. Now we're going to have to figure out what center we want to work with in just a second. But at least let's go and take those derivatives first and find out what f, f prime, and f double prime are looking like. So our function is going to be f of x is the square root of x, or x to the 1 half. So its first derivative will be 1 half times x to the minus 1 half. And its second derivative will be negative 1 fourth times x to the minus 3 fourths. Now let's figure out the center bit right here. We need a center who is approximately 95. But we have to be able to plug whatever center we pick into the square root function. So we need a number who's easy to take the square root of and who's close to 95. So putting those two things together, a center of 100 would be a reasonable choice. So let's do that. If we take f of 100, then we're going to have 100 to the half power, or the square root of 100, which is 10. f prime of 100 will be 1 half times 100 to the minus 1 half. That would be 1 half times 1 over 10, or 1 20th. And then we're going to have f double prime of 100 will be negative 1 fourth times 100 to the minus 3 halves. That's negative 1 fourth over the square root of 100 cubed, so 1,000, 1 1,000th. One and that will be negative 1 4,000th. Now we can take these values and plug them into the coefficients. And we'll get that the square root of x is approximately f of the center, 10, plus 1 over 1 factorial times 1 20th, the second, or the first derivative times x minus the center, 100, plus 1 over 2 factorial times the second derivative, which was negative 1 4,000th, times x minus the center, 100. And so this is going to be our approximation. Let's clean it up a little bit. We're going to get 10 plus, that would be 1 20th times x minus 100, plus, remember this is 1 half in front here, so that's going to be negative 1 over 8,000, 2 times 4,000, times x minus 1 100 quantity squared. Now we can plug in 95 into our equation. So we'll have the square root of 95 is approximately 10 plus 1 20th times 95 minus 100 minus 1 8,000th times 95 minus 100 squared. And so that's going to be uh, 10 plus neg uh, 1 20th times negative 5 minus 1 8 thousandths times negative 5 quantity squared. Cleaning that up a little bit more, we get 10 minus 5 twentieths plus 25 8 thousandths. And now those are just three fractions. If we crunch those three fractions out on a calculator, we come up with 9.753125. And that'd be our answer. This is our second order Taylor approximation of the number.